All right, hey guys, uh, welcome to uh, episode 100, 100 episodes of NHL Be A Pro. In this episode, we're going to face off against a team that I think is worthy of playing us. And that team is, let's see here, let's see if I can find them, the Anaheim Ducks. Let's face the Anaheim Ducks. Let's subject to this day and let's see if we win or lose the next games and see if we get any goals because if we get any goals, that will definitely help us out getting the uh, 100 point plus achievement. So let's see if we beat Montreal. It's summoning. It goes very slowly. We have one. Okay. Now did I score any goals there? Let's see. Last, last time I checked, I had 58 points overall. And for the achievement, oh, I forgot to show you guys the achievement um, for last uh, for last episode that I got. So the last the last uh, the last episode, I mentioned the achievements that I got. I got this. Hello, Mr. President. Win President's Trophy in NHL be a GM mode. Conference champs win a chance and blah blah blah. blah. The president's will NHL be a pro. Lord Stanley's mug. Win the Stanley Cup and NHL be a pro mode. Wrecking Ball. Trouble three opponents as a result of one hit. That's actually really hard. You have to hit three guys with one hit. That's that's crazy. Um, trigger four different goal celebrations in one game. Home Ice Advantage. Uh, Road Warriors. Superstar. Scouting Master. And I think I showed you guys these before. Uh... But so far, I got 480 gamer score. I got 26 achievements out of 49. I'm definitely gonna get, not going to get all 49 achievements in this game. So um, I decided to make this episode a little bit longer. Um, and I'm probably not going to cut anything out. Even when I'm on the bench for episode 100, I think that's uh, that's going to be a really special. Because uh, I usually just cut it out when I go on the bench and stuff. But I think this episode, I might not cut it out. Um... Also, this is going to earn us a lot of XP too. Well, not a lot, but uh, the average XP. Oh, there's our there's our third loss. Yep, there's our we got, we lost three times, three out of nineteen. What happened to us? Right after Colorado, we just I don't know what happened. We just uh, we're just going down the drain now, really. We got four thousand XP now. Out of those two games. Let's see how much we get out of this game. See if it updates. We have to wait till they um So we lost there. We lost four games already. I don't usually include this. When I'm skipping games, I don't usually include it. So we only earn like 300 experience there. I think you earn more experience if you win than if you lose. So So we're coming up, we're coming up to uh, the Anaheim Ducks here, and after we summit this, um, I'm going to jump into edit my player, and I'm going to change my equipment and upgrade my player too. So I think this is a good time to uh, change everything uh, and get ready for like uh, the next couple of episodes or the next, really the next 100 episodes. Um, I don't know if we're actually going to hit 200 episodes in this. Uh, just because it's been a year almost since uh, I started NHL Be A Pro. I started in September when they launched the game to people that play, that bought EA Access early. Uh, you guys get to play like a week early or five days early. So that's when I started uploading it. So I don't know if we're, we're going to hit 200 episodes. Uh, we might hit 150 or 140. I don't know. Uh, we might hit 100, uh, 200 because um, I upload I upload an episode every single day. So I don't know what's going to happen. So we got 4,700 experience or 4,716 experience. Uh, we're going to go to edit player. We're going to change our gear. We're going to change our equipment. Uh, right now we got Reebok. Um... I think we should go with CCM. Uh, CCM is a Canadian company. Uh, 
I don't know where they're based out of. They might be based out of Ontario, actually. We're going to go with red, because my favorite color is red. Uh, jersey. Uh, let's go small. Stick. Uh, let's go with CCM. Should we go with the red stick? Yeah, let's go with the red stick. Now, tape. Apparently, I had pink tape this whole time. So what we're going to do, we're going to brighten it up. We're going to go with fucking red tape. Matching our stick. Uh, pants don't really matter. Shoe, not shoes. Well, they're kind of like shoes, actually. Uh, I believe there's only two CCMs. Yes, there is. There's that one and that one. Um, let's go with those. Socks don't really matter. Gloves. Go with those, or we can go with those. Let's go with those. All right, so we got some new equipment. Now let's uh, let's get our player growth here, and then let's jump right into the game. So they're all 94 right now. Let's see if we can uh, we can upgrade too. Okay, wrist shot. Should we do should we do wrist shot instead of snapshot? Let's do wrist shot. Yeah, let's do wrist shot. All right, we're still at 86. Let's see if we go cool up after this. Um, these are all pretty much leveled out. Um, puck control. We need a puck control. And let's get that all leveled out so it's all the same. We are going to hit 99, I believe, before the... Uh, I believe one of these upgrades your player pretty fast. Still at 76, 86. Senses? We just did senses. Skating. Uh, agility, balance, endurance, speed. Now let's go with more speed. We need more speed. Why, why not? More speed. Fighting skills. We don't really need that. Strength. Uh, sure, let's bump it up to 90. Well, heck the why not? Why not? Face-offs, let's bump that up. You always need face-offs, guys. Oop. Save. Save changes. I almost didn't save there. Now our experience should go down to... Yeah, there we go. Alright, guys. I'll see you guys when we get on the ice. Alright guys, so uh, to start off episode 100, we're going to face the Anaheim Ducks. Drawing Gibson in net, in net for uh, the Ducks, uh, I think their new their new starter goalie is actually Anderson. Um, but they haven't updated the uh, the rosters in this game uh, for some reason. Especially for NHL Be A Pro. They definitely have an upload, uploaded for the uh, NHL Be A Pro. But that's fine. Um, I like my roster right now anyways, so... Let's keep it that way... So this is episode 100, and I'm trying to find a way to, to make this episode just a little bit more special. Just a little bit more special than the rest of the episodes. Um, but I don't know what to do. Really, I don't know what to what to do. So, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I'll make this episode a little bit longer. Maybe I'll make this episode with no jump cuts, basically. So you guys get to see what happens when, I go, when I'm on the bench. 
and what doesn't happen when I go on the bench. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to cut it out or not. I haven't thought about it yet. I haven't started editing. But once I start editing, then I'll know. So I might, I might cut this out. I might not. So uh, I'm just going to talk when I'm on the bench. Uh, this is this is what I do basically when I'm just on the bench. I just sit here and wait. Sit here and wait and rest up my player. That's uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. All that's all I do. And we just scored. So I might include all of this in. I might just not just edit this. I might just upload it as it is. Actually, I have to cut out some stuff, actually, so, uh, because I'm recording this with episode 99, I'm just continue recording, so it's, oh, it's been, it's been quite a while, so I definitely have to cut out episode 99, so. I was thinking about including, like, two games into one, or three games into one, but, um, I decided not to. I usually appear offline. Or turn off my notifications so you guys don't see that. But uh, I wanted to see my achievements pop, so um, so I needed I need my notifications on to actually see my notifications to, to see my uh, achievements pop because I like to see the achievements pop. I don't know why. It's it's a it's a satisfying it's very very satisfying to see an achievement pop, and I don't know why, but it does. Let's see if we can get around the Ducks defense. We can. And we got a round Gibson, too. Scores. So that's our first goal. Um, I forgot to show you guys how many goals that we got from... I got pink tape. What the hell? I changed it to red. Did I change it to red? I changed it to red. I'm back at Reebok. What the hell? I saved the changes. I did it in this video, literally. What the hell? Yeah, I'm all Reebok. I want to be CCM. I thought I was CCM. What the hell? That's weird. It's really, really weird. Really weird. I don't know why. But it's weird. Yeah, so... This episode is going on Wednesday, so episode 100 is going up on Wednesday. Guys, I don't. I, I'm serious. I don't know what to talk about really. I usually record these once every single night, so I have something to talk about. But I have nothing to talk about, really. I really don't. I don't know what to. I'm all talked out. I am all talked out. Let's see if we can score. Let's see if we can do that. It's probably going to be a really boring episode. Probably going to be a really boring episode. Oh, we almost got it. We hit him right in the middle of the chest. We hit John. We hit John Gibson right in the middle of the chest. Ah, oh, I should have waited. Oh, get robbed. Get robbed. Oh, come on. You're in front of the net, buddy. Get away from the front of the net. Oh. Oh, come on. Get through, Puck. Get through the defense. Like, come on. Oh, I missed the Puck. Oh, knock down Perry. Sorry, Perry. You're still my favorite player. You're still my favorite player. Let's go on the bench for the last minute of the period. Why not? Oh, look. We got A minus, A plus, A plus. This is, this is what I don't usually show in the episodes. Because that's just really just telling you the exact same thing over and over and over and over again. This game is really repetitive. Even with the commentary. When you play this game for 100 episodes, 
you pretty much know what the commentators are, what the commentators are gonna say. This game, uh, this game gets really repetitive, really, really fast, actually. So, uh, I can't wait for NHL 16. Really, really can't wait for NHL 16. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I take the thumbnail, how I find a picture for the thumbnail. Um, it's really, I just go into replays, and just find, and just scroll through and see if the fans are holding up any signs or anything like that. Um, I like to do it when we score because the crowd gets excited. Everybody gets excited. So, um, yeah, I like, to, uh, I like to find something that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. Let's find Perry. Where's Perry? There's Perry. Is that Perry? Yep, that's number 10. Let's take a picture of Perry. Why not? Corey Perry, my favorite player. They actually really molded him. Actually, like, really, really real in this game. I don't... Oh, let's get that. Oh, that's our thumbnail. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's our thumbnail right there. So I just took a picture with my capture software. So let's return to the game. I'm going. I'm showing you guys like the in and out what I do basically. That's all this episode is. Just really what, how I, how I really, um, how I do stuff. Uh, maybe I'll show you how I edit, how I edit NHL be a pro videos. For um for this episode, maybe I'll show you how guys. This is not really a good episode to try to uh, show you guys how I edit because I'm not going to really cut anything out. Really. The only thing I'm going to cut out is a loading screen into the game. And episode one, uh, end episode 99. So. Maybe I'll show you how I edit episode 99. Because that, that was just a regular episode. I can just cut everything out. So maybe I'll show you that. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you guys that at the end of this video, you guys will see how I edit uh, episode ninety nine. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, I know I didn't really. Did I show you guys how I edit before? I don't know if I showed you guys how I edit before. I don't know if I did. So pretty much the only thing I'm going to cut out is just the loading screen. So, I'm not going to cut anything out. You can see how fast I sit here. How fast it is when, uh, when we're on the power play. Oh, that was a weird camera. That was weird. It was like zoomed in and then zoomed right into the fucking crowd. Look at that. It's weird. Yeah, so I looked on like the average age... Uh, of my viewers, as you guys, the average age, uh, you guys watch my videos. You guys between, you guys are between 16 and 18, and I think I could swear just a little bit in my videos. Not that much. I won't swear that much, but I think I could swear uh, just a little bit in my videos, um, just because you guys are pretty much up the age of there. You're probably swearing around your friends and all that stuff. You're probably not swearing around your parents, um, but you're probably swearing around like your, or your friends and. All that stuff when you're out with your friends and all that, so it's pretty not out of the norm, probably for you guys, to hear people swear or anything like that, or if you have parents that swear a lot or anything. Golden interference, good job, Stamkos. Good job. I'm gonna take a drink of my pop because my throat's getting dry. I know I shouldn't be really drinking pop from because my throat's dry. I should be really drinking water, but I don't have water in my fridge, so. I used to have a case of water in my fridge, but I drank it all. I literally drank like 12 bottles of water in one day. I don't know why I did that, but I did that. I drank 12 bottles of water in one day. Tell me you guys ever did that. You ever drank like tons of water in one day? It's actually really bad for you to drink tons of water. It actually is. 
you can actually you can actually die of drinking too much water. Basically, you're drowning in yourself. That's how it is. You're basically drowning in yourself. It's actually pretty funny. Well, it's not funny if you die, but it's it's funny that you drown yourself from drinking water. But I think if you drink, if I think you like, if you drink a maximum of like thirty water bottles, thirty water, like water bottles, like the size of water bottles, you can actually die. It's weird. It's it's weird to actually say, oh, what did your son die of, or what did your friend die of, drinking water. Yeah, he died of drinking water. I don't know if you guys ever seen seen a TV show called A Thousand Ways to Die. Uh, but they show you, like, different uh, different deaths. And some of the deaths are really, really funny. And, and um, one, of the, one of the things, uh, the girl was a yoga teacher. And she was doing hot yoga, which is, uh, you turn up the temperature, like, really, really high. And you start sweating while you're doing yoga. Apparently, it's really good for you. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, so they're doing hot yoga. And she was getting mad, and she fell, and then she went to the stairs to walk down the stairs because she was frustrated. She actually tripped, and, no, what happened, she got in a yoga pose, and she got stuck. She got stuck in the yoga pose, and nobody would help her because she, she was a bitch the whole time during the yoga session. So she was a bitch, so they didn't help her. Uh, she was trying to walk down the, trying to get down to the stairs, and stuck in this yoga pose. She has two of her legs wrapped around her head, and she's walking on her butt. Basically, she was resting. She was walking on her butt, and she's using her hands to walk around. But she was like, "It's weird. It's a weird position." But then she fell down the stairs, and she broke her neck. She broke her neck from falling down. You can fall down the stairs. You break your neck. You break any bone if you fall down the stairs. But the way that she got tied up and fell down the stairs, all she could have done is just relax. And she would have just relaxed and then her, then she would have got undone. Also, what's up with the people that didn't help her? She might be a bitch, but help her if she's stuck. Like, come on. It's common currency. It probably happened in America. It probably happened in America. A lot of Americans are not really helpful. A lot of Canadians are. If you ask a Canadian to help you, he'll help you. Any Canadian will, actually. Now, don't don't say, oh, that's not true. Americans have do have nice people. They, they probably do. But when I went there, they did... Some of them, some of them are nice, and some of them are just mean. Um, but what I'm here, I don't get any mean people at all. Like you get the occasional asshole, but every country has a Canadian, uh, has one of the, like a few, a few people are just, just, just assholes. Everybody has them. Every country has them. We have them. We don't have, we don't have many, but we do. And if you piss us off, we're gonna be fucking complete assholes. We will be so mean to you. And after that, after five minutes, we'll say sorry to you. Even if you pissed us off, we'll say sorry to you. I don't get it. But a lot of Canadians do that. And uh, this is turning into like a Canadian versus American war. It's not... Listen, I like America as much as the next Canadian. But, like, some of, some of the stuff that you guys do in America are not really... Not really up to par with Canada. Like, um, like a few things about Canada that are really great is free healthcare, free universal healthcare. But it's not great as you guys think. Yes, we can just go to the hospital and get something done and not pay for it. Um, just because, like, we pay we pay a lot more taxes than you guys. That's why we get universal healthcare. If we pay more taxes, our healthcare gets better. So, yeah. So the more taxes we pay, the better healthcare it gets. Better, better healthcare we get. So that's that's how our healthcare that's how, that's how our healthcare works in this country. We pay more taxes, we get universal healthcare. It's a great deal. You pay a little bit more, you get you get free healthcare. Well, it's not free. You pay for it, but you don't pay for it all up front like the Americans. Like um. My sister, my sister, my one of my sisters is a nurse 
She's uh she just graduated um, as a nurse, and she's going back to school to get for like um for another nurse, but it's like just underneath a doctor. But she's not going to be a doctor. She's going to be like a understudy of the doctor, I guess. Like if the doctor's not there, she's going to take care of the patients. That's what I'm trying to say. And um, she looked at the she's studying there, and she she looked at the Americans, and um, one of the one of the things where um, this guy went to the hospital to get his finger like get his finger sewed back on because it got detached, it got cut off, and he's trying to go to the hospital and get it reattached. That. Apparently, it costs 10 grand or 20 grand for one finger. 20 grand for to attach one finger. Here, you could get it for free. You get it done for free. Um, but if an American comes over here, like, or comes over to Canada, uh, they actually, the hospital will actually bill your, um, bill your insurance company in America. So you'll still have to pay for it. You still have to pay for it. So. If you're American, you want to come over here to get freaking free healthcare, you can, but they'll bill your bill your uh, your insurance company in America. So, but if you move to Canada, you instantly get free healthcare. Instantly, if you have if you own a home here or rent a home, you get healthcare. I thought that you had at least to be here for like like three months or six months, then you get free healthcare. That's what I thought, but uh, apparently that's not the that's not the case. And another thing about Canada is we're multiple multiple. I don't know how to say it, but we allow everybody in the country um, when it comes to uh, race. When it comes to race, we allow anybody in. We don't care what kind of race you are. We let you in. We accept everybody. Now Americans, they don't really. They accept everybody, but they don't like everybody. If you guys know what I'm saying. They definitely don't like Arabs. I don't like Arabs. Uh, let me rephrase that. I like Arabs, but I don't like the terrorist kind. I don't think anybody likes the terrorist kind. But um, I'm kind of I'm kind of setting myself up here for like racism here. But I'm not like... I don't know... I don't know how to word this, but yeah, but basically we accept everybody. We accept every race in, in Canada, as long as you learn the national, national anthem, like Canadian anthem, like old Canada, you got to learn that off by heart. That's you hit and then sign some papers. That's it. You're in Canada. You're a Canadian. You're a Canadian citizen. After you learn the national anthem in English, you got to speak English or French speak English or French and you guys sing our national anthem off by heart and um, some people in Canada have complained about our national anthem for schools for public schools uh, for the Americans I don't know if you guys have public schools but public schools is basically I know you guys have uh, I, I know you guys have private schools so private schools we have private schools we call them Catholic schools we have Catholic schools, public schools, we have private schools, we have we have every type of school apparently, the same as the Americans. So So yeah, so we get we get free education. Uh, we don't have to pay for our education. Uh, like the Americans, I believe Americans don't have to pay for our education. A lot of countries do have to pay for our education. Um, one education you do have to pay for is college or university. But in my in my situation, I don't have to pay for any, anything. Like if I need anything done, um, like any surgeries or anything, I don't have to pay, like at all. The government actually pays for me. The government pays it for me. If I need medicine, the government pays it for me. If I need, like, um, I think I, I think I explained this before, in a video. But um, yeah. So basically, the government, the government gives me money every single month. Um, cause I have a disability. Um, if you guys don't know what a disability is, my disability is very, very mild or very, very minor. Um, I can walk, I can talk, I can do everything else that everybody else can. It's just, uh, it's just, it's just different. It's different for me. But, um, yeah, so the government gives me money each month. I'm not going to tell you guys how much money they give me, but, um, 
So they give me they give me a certain amount of money each month, and uh, because of my disability, and uh, they give me, um, they give me these cards, which is like a dental card, health card, and drug card. Well, not a health card. I get it. I get a new health card every year, or every five years you get a new health card. But um, I get a drug card, uh, a drug benefit card, and and a dental card. And I get my stub, whatever, how much I get paid, how much they give me, and put in my account, my bit, my uh, bank account. So, so I earn each money. I earn money each month uh, from the government. I earn money from YouTube, not a lot from YouTube. Now I'm telling you guys, it's not a lot from YouTube. I only earn a couple dollars each month from YouTube. It's not a lot, but um, yeah. Anyways. Let's see how many, how, let's see how many goals we scored so far, um, so far. So, uh, this, this has been, this has been, we, we actually found a topic. We actually found a topic to talk about during the video. And the video for me is going on for about 32 minutes. So, pretty, pretty long video for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed episode 100 though. And if you guys ask me in the comments, like, how much do you make each month? I'm not going to tell you because that's very, very personal. We got 69 points. How perfect is that? How perfect is it ended on that? 69 points. And we got 2,100 experience, too. And we reached half of our, um, almost we reached, we pretty, pretty much reached all of our expectations <laughs> for this year. Uh, we like to contribute 30 goals for your team this year. We at least expect you 57 points. We fucking exceeded that. And you get at least 132, 162 shots out there. We got 322 shots. So out of 322 shots, we scored... So 132 shots out of 53 goals, 57 goals, we got... Hold on here, let me pop up my calculator. So, what the fuck? So, three. Oh, what did did do three? I can't see. Um, two, two. Minus seven equals. So it took us two hundred and sixty-five shots out of um. So out of 322, we came down and we just, I just minus um, 57 goals out of our uh, 322 shots. And uh, we got 265 shots. So we're actually, two, we're actually, for actually shots, not counting goals, uh, we are at 265. So that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed episode 100. If you did, uh, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I can't wait to do some more uh, NHL Be A Pro. I'm not going to record any more tonight. Uh, just because I'm going to lose my voice. And uh, my voice is actually hurting right now. But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. Make sure you guys add me on Facebook. Make sure you guys go follow me on tw Twitch and Hitbox. And uh, all the rest of my social media down below. Also, make sure you guys go check out our recent sponsors. I highly recommend you guys actually go check out No Scope Gaming. No Scope Glasses. Because I actually wear them when I play video games. And they actually help a lot. Um, I used to get headaches quite a lot when I play video games. And ever since I started wearing these glasses, I've got no headaches. So make sure you guys go check them out. If you do get headaches or if you got, if your eyes hurt while you're playing video games, um, they will definitely help you out. Make sure you guys use the link down below. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. My name is Prez. Peace out.